Some areas of Lagos State experienced blackout on Saturday around 3 p.m. And this was confirmed from a message from the Ikeja Electricity. Now, though some reported that the national electricity power grid crashed to 70.60 megawatts around 4 p.m., and this would make it the seventh time the national grid would collapse in 2024. The previous collapses were on February 4th, April 10th, April 15th, March 11th, March 12th, and March 28th. And during the inauguration of the 31-member Presidential Economic Coordination Council held at the Council Chamber of the Presidential Villa in Abuja on Thursday, President Bola Chidubu described the current low electricity generation in the country as shameful. And to unpack this, I am joined by the founder of Power Up Nigeria, Mr. Ade Tayo. Good morning. Glad to have you join me. But then straight to our conversation, I mean, this is the seventh time we're having the national grid collapse. I mean, for the benefit of those who don't know, maybe you should start by telling us what, you know, a grid collapse is all about. And why do we keep having this recurring challenge, you know, challenge? Well, um, for those that are familiar with um, our power sector, uh, we run a system where um, there must always be a balance between um, what we are producing at any particular point in time and what we are consuming at any uh, particular point in time. And um, so once there is a variance, a sharp contrast in the two figures, in the pool and the supply, we are definitely going to have what we call the, the well, it's a system disturbance, but what that does is that it leads to a crash, a cut off in the national grid, like a, a knock off of the national grid. So they have to bring everything all back. Um, well, those are for engineering terms. I mean, mm. I would have loved to go and talk to her about frequency variation and stuff. But basically, that's what it means. Once there is a sharp drop between, uh, a sharp variance between what is being consumed and what what is being produced. So then, so yeah. um, in a situation we have a constant demand, in a situation we have a constant demand, you know, for consumption, but immediately there is any problem with um, generation or uh, a strike off. Maybe there is a knockoff of, 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 uh, um, of, of maybe any of the substations at any particular point in time. That, that naturally leads to what we have come to know as a national. Okay, we understand that this has crashed uh, power generation to about 70.60 megawatts. Uh, what's the impact of this on the power distribution in Nigeria? Well, as at the day, I think that was as at um, Saturday afternoon when the grid collapsed, um, yes, everything came down to about 70 mega. Now, I, I, allow me to use this analogy quickly on the national grid uh, demand and the supply we're talking about. Um, a lot of us that uses generators in, in our homes, we know that when you put on our generator and it's running, and maybe, okay, the, the common one is this, I better pass my neighbor generator, that'll do small generators. And you go to put on your water heater, or your uh, your your iron, you know what happens? The the generator goes into this uh, epileptic mood before it goes down. Exactly that was happened with our national grid at every particular point in time. Um, and what that means basically, going to your second question, is that once the grid collapsed, the whole system shuts down. So they will now need to start putting on the generators one by one and adding them back to the grid, then start calling up um, demands by putting up one or two feeders. And the more they add, the more they add feeders on the field. So that's what happens. So once there is a grid, what, uh, there's a grid collapse, it means that there is a total shutdown in the system all over the country. All right. Thank you so much for your insight on the news. We hope indeed this issue is resolved uh, once and for all uh, to ensure we fix our electricity in Nigeria. Mr. Ade Tayo Benle, the founder, Power Up Nigeria. Many thanks for your insights. It's always a pleasure.